Hi, Mark Gordon. Wednesday, uh, February 1st, 2012 with a gold, silver, and spider report. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, and you can see we have been in a great uh, uptrend here uh, since uh, late 2011. And uh, of course had this big volume, massive update here, which took us above this blue line, the 50-day moving average, and above this green dotted line, the 100-day moving average. Uh, this was uh, last week and uh, we are following through on that and you notice that we are riding this uh, gray area up. This is the Bollinger Band. This is a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within it 95 percent of the time. So it makes sense that traders are bumping up against this here and then uh, uh, on the pullback, um, you know, letting it drop down. So, but not giving up much ground. Um, we have not even gotten close to this uh, gray line, the 10-day moving average, which is typically the bottom end of, a, uh, of a, a very strong uptrend. So riding and hugging this Bollinger Band for the last uh, five or six sessions here, a very positive sign. Um, so the gold rally continues. We did break uh, out of this uh, overhead um, uh, resistance here uh, at about 161, and uh, that happened last week, uh, breaking the back of this uh, uh, flag here that was kind of in a downtrend. Um, and uh, also a, a very positive sign when you get above these key moving averages. So it's full steam ahead here uh, as far as gold is concerned. Uh, the volume has been uh, dropping off a bit but that's okay. Um, we did some very positive volume here uh, and uh, if uh, we do get some pullbacks uh, I'd like to see that on light volume and then some big volume spikes again uh, if this is going to move higher. And checking out a weekly chart of the GLD um, you can see this uh, sort of cup formation here and uh, we are climbing the right side of the cup here very strongly uh, one, two, three, four, five, we're about in the sixth week of this uptrend here and uh, your next point of resistance will come in here at this previous high of 175.46. Now that coincides with the Bollinger Band on the weekly chart which is currently at 175.12. So a little bit of resistance uh, up ahead in the $175 range but uh, the GLD is looking very strong. Looking long term at gold, uh, we can see that we uh, came down here and uh, tried to test this uh, um, green dot line, which is the 20 month moving average. This is a place usually of support, and uh, we have successfully tested it. Didn't really get near it, uh, did undercut this uh, solid blue line, which is the 10 month moving average, but uh, we have righted ourselves back above that. And last month, uh, gold gained 11.14%. Uh, so 11.14% in uh, one month uh, and up 11.14% uh, for the year. So gold having a great 2012. Um, no Mayan prophecy uh, uh, doomsday for gold uh, so far. Now silver has also been impressive this year. Uh, today silver is up over 1.5% and uh, in a very solid uptrend just like the gold uh, which uh, had uh, this bounce here in late 2011. A um, little bit weaker of a chart than the gold chart. Um, you can see that we are above this blue uh, solid line, which is the 50-day moving average, and we are now closing solidly above the green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average. We are still underneath the 200-day moving average. So that's a, a bit of a bearish sign here. Uh, that's coming in at 3470, 3470. So there, there's a point of resistance just up ahead where you could uh, have a little test for silver. But uh, so far, um, you know, riding the, this uh, gray area up, the Bollinger Band, and pullbacks taking us not quite to this gray line, which is the 10-day moving average. So very, very solid move here uh, for silver. And when we go to the weekly chart of silver, we can see this cup formation. We can see um, uh, 34.44, the top of this uh, uh, cup here, as another point of resistance, uh, along with the upper Bollinger Band at 34.70 and the 40-week moving average at around 34. So uh, overhead resistance, I'm calling it in the 34 zone. Uh, we could have a little test here, maybe a little sideways action or a pullback. Uh, and see what kind of support comes in uh, with these moving averages here, which are usual places of support, um, uh, usually the 10 uh, a week and the 20 week providing support here if we do get a pullback. 
Moving on now to the stock market. Uh, this is the SPY, the S&P 500 uh, ETF. And equally impressive move here. Um, uh, Multi-week move here, taking out this uh, uh, overhead uh, resistance line here, this flag formation to the upside above all the key moving averages, which are all pointed in an upward direction, uh, which is a good sign here. Um, we uh, have been riding this upper Bollinger Band, just like in the metals, um, getting pullbacks here to this gray line, the 10-day moving average, and uh, well above this red line, the 21-day moving average, and well above the 50-day moving average. Now, an important thing is the 50-day moving average is now above the 200 and the 100-day. So we have uh, what we call a bullish alignment. That's when the uh, shorter moving averages are all stacked above the longer ones. Uh, except, I'm sorry, except for the 100 day, which is quickly closing in on the 200 day. But we do have a bullish formation in the moving average, especially the 50, 21, and 10. So that is a great sign here. Uh, the rally uh, is going strong. Moving on now to a uh, weekly chart of the uh, SPY. Uh, we can see that, uh, we can, number one, see this big run here. We can also see breaking out of this flag formation here to the upside. We can see the bullishness of this red line, which is the four-week moving average, and the bullishness of the blue line, which is the 10-week moving average. We can see the green dotted line, which is the 20-week moving average, closing in on this black line, the 40-week. So very bullish momentum uh, here. Uh, we do have uh, some overhead resistance at these previous tops here. Um, you notice that we got to uh, almost 135 and then got a sharp pullback. We got to 134.15 here, coming up a little bit short um, uh, and got a really sharp pullback down here to 109. Tried to rally back here, got turned away at the 10 week moving average and came in uh, at 106.75 for the low here. So just a word of caution, you know, a lot of nervous Nellies here, possibly as we do get back up here to this previous high zone. So a quick recap, gold, silver, and stocks in a powerful rally mode uh, uh, since uh, late last year. Uh, and uh, the rally uh, has no signs of letting up. Um, ben Bernanke came out and said that they would keep interest rates super low. Uh, into uh, 2014. So this gives a uh, full steam ahead for more stimulus uh, to the markets. So, um, you know, there's a lot of negativity out there. Uh, we are climbing a major wall of worry here with the U.S. economy and the global economy. But uh, there is stimulus uh, from the government, from the central banks all around the world. So um, this could cause uh, stocks and commodities to roar higher. Um, so, uh, you know, now is the time. We are in a confirmed rally. Now is the time to build a portfolio with the best stuff possible, uh, like the things that we follow at goldenticker.com. So thank you.